what started your love for cats and then cats and dogs? And what made you decide to... And pigs. We, we, we help sponsor a, a pig sanctuary now. And what, what kind of drove you to make a nonprofit out of it? These are good pickles. <laughs> I did animal rescue because my partner started doing it. And I started... I'm sorry, this is a long pickle. Mm, so good, though. Guys, Mount Olive, <clears throat> Simply Pickles, Select Ingredient, Kosher Baby Dills, Cucumber and Vine. Call me up. Sign the check. Let's do this. Come on, Mount Olive. And Plockman's Mustard. I love you, too. Hell yeah. Animal Rescue is a very introverted um, line of work. Almost all the people I know that do that do not want attention. That's part of the reason I think that they love animals. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> but I have a big mouth, so like when I play shows, I could raise money for local rescues. And it actually started pretty organically at Milo Music. I was played my first show at Spats that year, and uh, I put out my guitar case, and I said, um, you know, let's try to raise $250 this weekend. $25 a show. I had 10 shows, which is crazy, because like this year I have two. I'm just like, what am I going to do with my life? Two shows? It's so easy, you know? And uh, <clears throat> um, and then we got you know almost that on the first show and ended up raising like a thousand dollars that week, including a good amount in the chapel that year. That was the first time we tried that. I kind of just asked Corey, I'm like, hey, we've been doing this all weekend. Do you think we could just put it out? And this really cool thing happened where people came down the aisle at the chapel and were throwing money from the second level. And um, I don't, there was a hundred dollar bill on there. I was crying at the end of it. And then the next year it was bigger, and the next year it was bigger. And then we started doing some other fundraisers um for when natural disasters happen like uh there was a tornado or a hurricane actually in uh, louisiana and texas we wanted to send some money down to the rescues because a lot of people have to make that tough call of um leaving quickly and not being able to bring their pet you know and so the rescues were overwhelmed and we started getting checks that were <coughs> a little too big like the people wanted to be able to claim them on their taxes and they had to write them to me personally and then i also had to count that as income so we realized the the prudent thing would be to start an actual nonprofit, and so we um, went to a lawyer friend and raised the money to do that. It's like even with a, a nice lawyer, it was still like two grand to, to found the thing. And then ever since then, we just kind of try to do what we can. Our, up till this year, our biggest thing was always Mile Music. Um, this year, they're going in a different direction, so we're not able to raise money at the festival. So we're gonna have to figure that out. But um, if anybody wants to donate, one of the things uh, you can go to. Uh, the Walt Hamburger Foundation Facebook page is where our PayPal thing is. Um, <clears throat> recently, we've we've kind of focused on two things, if it's okay if I keep talking about this. Um, one is, uh, of course, our Willow Fund, which is basically there's a mural at McFleshman's um, that you can see that uh, is Willow the Cat that Chad Brady did. We raise money, uh, and then we, we put aside some for uh, humans that have pets that have emergencies and have to make the life or death call, and maybe if they could get the surgery... They might survive, and we've helped a lot of people locally with that, and uh, that's that's very important to me. And then the other thing we started doing is there's this pig sanctuary in Kakana, which is so cool, called Saving Snouts, and we've been um, sponsoring a few of their pigs. And they are pigs, if you don't know, are more intelligent than dogs. Then these are pigs that had some tragic stories, and there's this person named TJ and uh, and a few other dedicated uh, volunteers and employees there that they have like 42 pigs. And um, a lot of them, you know, were like fell off a truck or were like they were supposed to do an organ transplant. It didn't work out. And these, these pigs were left for dead and they saved them. And so we, we sponsor three of them right now. And it's like some of the most rewarding volunteer work I've ever done. Um, check them out, Saving Snouts. And if you want to <coughs> donate to us for any of that stuff, you can tell us where you want the money to go and we'll 